Granny, I don't understand. Please let me out. Pardon me. My pals, there is something weird going on with my granny. Something weird that involves these gnomes, this hairless cat, and most disturbingly of all, this picture of me in the garbage bin. I blame the gnomes. Tell me what you did. I was just hanging out with Granny. She was baking some cookies in the kitchen. I wanted to see what she was baking, so I tried to go in. She kicked me out, locked me in this room, and then she just fell asleep. So the question remains, my pals, what is going on in the kitchen? I would not sit and wait around. I am taking matters into my own hands. Out of the way. Oops. Be quiet. True, that was a bit dramatic and destructive of me. I will hide my shame in the vent. Do we think this vent leads to the kitchen? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, that was Granny burping. At least we're not in a locked room anymore. That's definitely progress. Might just kick this open and okay, now we're in a weird attic. That's all right. Hopefully the weird attic will lead us back to the kitchen where we can discover what Granny is up to in there. Mr. Nibbles watching on with interest. Here's the thing. If Granny was just baking regular cookies in that kitchen, then I don't think she'd have any reason to kick me out, which leads me to believe that she is baking irregular cookies. Now, not a lot of people know this, but I'm going to let you in on a little secret. My granny can bake the most extraordinary cookies in the world, and I'm not just talking about how they taste. Isn't that right, Senior Fish Farts? Now, you might be wondering why did you fall in the spike pit. I am wondering that as well. But you also might be wondering, what's so extraordinary about these cookies? They can make you bigger. They can make you faster. Some people think that they can even make you live forever. Dangerous. Dangerous if it fell into the wrong hands. That's right. <gasps> oh, we are in! And it looks like Granny's still asleep. Oh yeah, she is snoring like a tractor. All I have to do now is sneak into the kitchen. And, oh, oh, she is awake. Who, me trying to sneak into the kitchen? No, no, I would never. No, you cannot silence me. So things have escalated. Granny gave me a sleeping cookie. I can hardly believe it. Okay, not gonna make that mistake twice. Yeah, go ahead and try to catch me. I am getting to the bottom of this. I am breaking into the kitchen, okay? You cannot stop me with your thunderous farts. Obviously, I'm scared. Everyone would be a little bit scared. They shake the whole building, but oh, there's the door. Oh, she's right behind me. Oh my gosh. What? What happened to the kitchen? This isn't Granny's kitchen. It's like it's been turned into a factory. And she's so mad. Hurry up, pair of puppy. Granny's got steam coming out her ears. Wow, okay. Yeah, this is like a full-on factory. There is no way that these cookies are just for the grandkids and the neighbors. Someone is forcing Granny to pump out cookies. I think they might be using some sort of mind control because she's not usually this angry and she's never kicked me out of the kitchen before. Never. She has been acting extremely strangely. And so, my pals, as we float up this air shaft, I implore you to consider who might be behind this. Please let me know in the comments section if you have any theories. We are looking for someone who is hungry, capable of mind control, and perhaps might have a plan most nefarious. Oh, whoa, okay. Wasn't expecting this. An underground lair full of crystals and volcanoes and lava and minerals. Wait one diamond mine in second, it's the gnomes. Oh my gosh, it's so obvious. Why didn't I see it before? Oh, I'm falling into the lava. Okay, try again. You think they'd build a bit more of a solid bridge? They really need to work on this. It's a health and safety issue. My brand new white unicorn coloring book is now available on Amazon. Follow the link in the description. But of course, I have figured it out now. It is the gnomes. They weren't just hanging around outside for no reason on the front lawn. They were waiting for their cookies. Those pesky gnomes have turned Granny's entire kitchen into a cookie factory. They're using their magical powers to force her to bake endless cookies. And they've stolen her knitting projects. Oh my gosh, what won't they do? These gnomes, they've got no scruples. They've got no standards. Oh my gosh, they've even turned Granny's giant balls of yarn into tools of destruction. This is a truly disturbing development. We seriously need to find out what kind of cookies those gnomes are forcing Granny to bake. They could be cookies of strength. They could be cookies of speed. They could be cookies of intelligence. Any of these cookies, if baked in large enough quantities, could enable the gnomes to take over the world forever. Obviously, this is all just conjecture. If you have any theories about what kind of magical cookies these gnomes might be baking, please let me know in the comments section. I could really use some help. Even though I'm forced to conclude that the gnomes are probably evil, I have to say, I like their garden thing. <gasps> it's Granny. Whoa, she didn't even turn around. Granny, can you hear me? Oh my gosh. Don't worry, Granny. If you're in there, I'm gonna get these gnomes. Just keep fighting the good fight. I won't let them get your cookies. Oh, wait a second. Are we racing? Oh my gosh, we're in a race. 
Okay, well, this is pretty unexpected, but I feel like this is a ploy by the gnomes. They're trying to distract me. They think that I will forget about my main mission if I am having a wonderful time cookie go-kart racing with my granny. And they're not completely wrong. Hey, oh, granny, pull ahead. Sorry, Granny, I'm too competitive to allow you to do that, so I'm just going to need to pull ahead of you again, get a few boosts, and I don't even know what we're competing for. Who knows what we will get at the end of this race, but there's the house, so I guess we just did a big old loop of the yard. Cross the finish line, and oh, oh, there she is. Oh, she's not going to be happy. <gasps> she disappeared. Yeah, that only confirms my suspicions. Disappearing, that is some gnomish behavior. Wow, okay, production at the cookie factory clearly hasn't stopped. They are working granny to the bone. I need to stop this. I'm gonna stop it first by sliding down. And oh my gosh, this is getting seriously out of control. How many cookies has she made today? Hundreds. Look, the entire floor is covered in cookies. It's too many cookies. Obviously, the gnomes have some sort of plan that requires heaps and heaps of cookies, but what do they want? What kinds of cookies are they getting Granny to bake? Free cookies! I don't know, it seems suspicious. Well, but I don't know what happens down there. I mean, maybe I could go for some free cookies. Hey, that's a trick. There's a spike pit down there. Oh my gosh, these gnomes are tricky. Not fooling me. Yeah, not falling for that one today. Ooh, another air vent situation. Yeah, that's fine. I can handle it. Where are we going, though? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm just floating. <laughs> I don't want to fall into any of the void pits. Not when I have a beautiful octogenarian to save. I'm starting to wonder if they've got Granny working on a new recipe. Some sort of magical cookie that she hasn't made before. Maybe one that's more powerful than any of the other cookies she's baked before. But what could it be? What could be more powerful than a cookie of strength? A cookie of genius? Maybe I need to head outside and interrogate some gnomes. <laughs> First opportunity that comes up, I am going to be asking some gnomes some difficult questions. But first, we must do some more floating in the, in the air vent. Big floaty jumps. Oh, wow, we've actually got a pretty long way to go. All good. I can get to the top. I've got some gnomes I need to pay a visit to. <gasps> oh, here we go. Poor old granny just trying to get a break from the cookie factory. And oh my gosh, look at the size of those gnomes. I knew it. I knew it. They've been eating the cookies that make you big and strong. Mm. All right, where's oh. a gnome? I've got some questions. Oh, she does not want me going into the maze. I will talk to you later when I'm not being chased. I've got questions for you, okay? And if I wasn't being chased by my grandmother right now, I would ask them. And you, I want to know what you're up to. You're still small. I should probably talk to one of the big ones. Oh, there she is. Granny doesn't know what she's doing. She keeps making sounds like a velociraptor. It's pretty disturbing. All right, where are those giant gnomes gone? I want to talk to the head gnome, the manager gnome, the king gnome. Whoever's in charge here, I need to have a talk with you. You need to release my grandmother. Maybe we come up with some sort of system where you compensate her properly for time spent in the cookie factory, but you just can't be changing people's houses without asking them. You turned her whole kitchen into a cookie factory, and look, now I've drowned in a river. You've caused all sorts of problems for our family. Hey, look, finally, finally someone I can have a chat with. All right, I want to know what you two have been up to. Wait a second, what's that cookie? Is this the cookie that they've been working towards this whole time? What is it? The mega chocolate chip cookie of destiny? Oh no! Wait, who am I fighting? The keepers of the cookie? <gasps> oh my gosh, they've cloned Granny! Thank goodness I never go anywhere without my denture launcher. So that's what the gnomes have been up to. They have been forcing Granny to bake the most powerful cookie she has ever made. A cookie that can control destiny itself. That is so dangerous. We cannot allow that cookie to fall into the wrong hands. We just cannot. Even if they send bigger and bigger granny clones, I will not be stopped. Wow, hope granny forgives me for this. Hopefully once I explain to her that the entire world was in danger, she won't get upset at me for blowing up so many of her clones. We're almost there. This one's for granny. Oh my gosh, I think it worked. I broke the gnome spell. Okay, all we need to do now is get back to the house, find Granny, and see if we've resolved the whole mind control situation. Fortunately, someone has left a cookie car here. I will be taking that, thank you very much. With a little bit of luck, hopefully the gnomes will have retreated safely back underground. Next time I see one, I'm not even gonna hesitate. I'm gonna hit them with a get off my lawn, real firm-like. 
Okay, almost home. Fingers crossed. I'm dancing. That's usually a good sign. I look happy. I'm dancing. I'm enormous. Woohoo! And there's Granny. All right, so we got good news and bad news. The good news is Granny appears to be unscathed. Bad news is I'm pretty sure she ate one of those cookies of extreme growth. 